Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Jacobs. I'm a doctor of physical therapy and I'm the inventor of advanced soft tissue release as their specialty. I'm also a cancer survivor and I used to suffer from chronic migraines, headaches, pain and fatigue before I invented Aster specialty. All right, so in this video, I will go over uh, the benefit of Magna Heals and actually will show you a demonstration of how do you, to use the Magna Heal. So first, um, one of the uh, common question, what, what, what can I use the Magna Heal for? So it's used for any inflammation. So when we study any diseases, actually diseases started with inflammation. So it can be used for carpal tunnel, sciatica, um, any, any condition that related to inflammation. So I had it uh, on patient that has spinal uh, cord injury uh, or even spinal stenosis, uh, plantar fasciitis. So if patient in constant inflammation, this is a very good tool to use for those inflammation. The other question, I have like six Aster tools. So why this is different than the other tools? The, uh, the scar tissue tool, the A1, A2, A3, or A5, or the fascia tools. So uh, simply, each tool has each, uh, it has its own purpose. So we'll go from A1. I will actually start with the, the first one. So A1, that is a fascia release tool. So I use it to release the superficial fascia and the operatic fascia. If you're not familiar what is the fascia and the different layers of fascia, check the link below. I will have a link for what is fascia in detail with the anatomy and physiology and the study behind the fascia, okay? So A1 used to release superficial and deep fascia. Operatic fascia. A2, I use it to go deeper, including operatic fascia, epimycin, and uh, premycin. So that goes deeper. So each tool has its own use. We'll, we'll jump to A5. This used to release the premycin, the endomycin, deep fascia, and also release the deep knot that I cannot get it with massage or my fingers because that's another common question why massage doesn't work. It actually doesn't work. There's a lot of study. It shows that does not provide long term. There's at least six systematic reviews. And in those systematic reviews, they reviews hundreds and thousands of studies because massage does not go to the deep area of the tightness. And the other thing is it's not treatment. It's just uh, wellness. So this tool, the A5, is actually go very deep. As, as you can see, it's pokey. So actually, I can go very deep to the tissue. I will never be able to do that with my finger or my elbow because mechanically, this cannot go deep. It's thick, thin. Those are all aster tool and it's all patented, okay? So let's go to the next tool, A3. This is big. Uh, tool to use to release scar tissue and I use it in a different body uh, part and I have the smaller size of the uh, the A3, A4 and I use it for other different body part those used for scar tissue now we talked about scar tissue, fascia restrictions and the other thing missing in the healing cycle when you look at the normal healing cycle the body has to go through from inflammation proliferation to maturation so all those tools I just reviewed used to release the proliferation stage. Work on the scar tissue, fascia restriction, trigger point, and muscle spasm. I release it with all the tools from A1 to A5. Now we have a problem with inflammation with a lot of patients. How to solve this? That's when I invented the Magna Heal. This used for inflammation. So if patient problem is inflammation, this is a good tool to be used for. But if patient, and usually it's never inflammation by itself. It's usually patient going back between inflammation and proliferation before it's healed. And if you're not familiar with the normal healing cycle, I have another link below that going into detail to normal healing cycle. Why I stress that? Because for healthcare provider or patient, to really treat the body, you need to understand the normal program in the body, how the body works. If you really don't know how the body works, you cannot treat it. So for example, if you have a programmer and there is a bug and virus in the program, 
if that programmer does not understand the sequence of the program or not follow the normal sequence and address each stage of that sequence basically the programmer is blindly try to fix a problem that's how important for us to understand the healing cycle and each stage and knowing what's uh, where the patient is stuck. Is it stuck in the proliferation stage or the inflammation stage or going back and forth? So going back to the inflammation. So I, this is my, uh, uh, my recent invention. It's MagnaHeal and I use a special magnet based on like a ton of experiment. I experiment a lot of different materials with a lot of different coating, so I decided to coat it with anti-inflammatory uh, anti um, coating, so to work faster. And through those experiments, I found a, a, a small window of range of magnetic that actually work very effectively. And the side may, size of the tool is actually make a huge difference. So this, and I will show you a uh, demonstration on patient how I use it. And look like on patient and how they feel actually with the inflammation for mild inflammation few minutes with the magna heal they respond usually the pain is gone for moderate to severe inflammation usually I recommend patient to buy it and take it home and use it on themselves so I will show you a little bit experiment of the magna heal and uh, gonna be more after this so I'm actually trying to get those magnetic closer to each other I don't know if you feel you you see it. Um, um, of course, you cannot feel it. <laughs> but I I am pushing here, and this is going this direction. So I'm trying to push this. You see how far the magnet is pushing, and in a little bit, it's gonna be very obvi obvious on the patient. So when I measure the 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 range of the magnetic per each one is around three inches. I like to use both of them on the body of the patient so this way we can actually penetrate the entire joint to work on the inflammation. But the goal of the Magna Heal is actually to penetrate very deep to decrease inflammation. And I'm going to show you a picture in the video, uh, the science behind it. So when they evaluated the voltage in the cell, they found that the cell voltage runs between 20 to 25 millivoltage. That's a normal uh, range for the normal tissue. When they assess the inflamed area or disease area or injured tissue, the voltage was going down to 5 to 10 millivoltage. So think about it this way. If your phone run on 5% of your battery, basically you make an emergency phone calls, you not really able to use a lot of apps because you are in low battery but if your phone is fully charged the battery fully charged you're you're able to use it the same thing happened in the body when you have inflammation or injury your voltage in the cells goes down to 5 to 10 millivolt voltage so how to transition that to charge the, the cells so the cells will start to do what's supposed to do one of the way is actually using the magna heal to increase the voltage in the cells so it will work faster some patient was saying uh, does this going to work on everyone the answer yes if you implement the entire aster model some condition could not work on it uh, get result and i go that in detail in aster class but if patient does not have nutrition deficiency and they are in an, on anti-inflammatory diet, they usually see a very fast result with the Magna Heal. That's why during Aster treatment, and I teach that in Aster class, we use the Magna Heal in conjunction with nutrition. We'll put patient on anti-inflammatory diet. We'll make sure that the patient does not have any deficiency because if you have deficiency does not matter how much magnetic force will apply or it's charging the cells if you have deficiency on d or b or other nutrient this magnetic will not be effective because you don't have the fuel that the magnetic will use to help the cell so uh, let's watch what happened with the patient uh, 
So now before I use the Magna Heal, I'm going to show you the temperature of um, <clears throat> the skin and the area that has inflammation. And uh, we're going to do really cool treatment that shows you. So you can see it here, and I'm going to bring it closer. The area that has high temperature or more inflammation, it's in the red. And I'm going to show it to you in the screen here. And there's increase in the temperature. Enter. Sorry. In the ankle, you can see the 83.6. That's the temperature of closely to the red area. That's where there is inflammation. So everything else is not as inflamed, but it shows actually there is increased temperature here too. So we're going to work with the magnet to try <coughs> to get that inflammation. So we'll get a close shot. This is a magnet heel. It's a special magnetic that <coughs> I invented with uh, anti-inflammatory coating. And as you see, the strength of the magnet, it's actually, we just measured it before the video and it's um, the field was like five inch actually between both the magnets so I'm gonna do a treatment here and I want you to watch the movement of the magnet itself you see that I'm not really control I'm just guiding but you see how it's jump so actually I'm working on the inflammation in the area that I just show you the picture uh, a few seconds ago and this two magnets penetrating the entire body to work on that inflammation. <coughs> Are you able to see the random movement of the magnet? Okay, so you see, look at here, it's just pushing. I'm just guiding, okay? And you see how strong is the magnet. So we're gonna, I will do this treatment here, as you see. So, okay, and after, before, before we, we had the magnet, how much pain did you experience here, from zero to ten? Right now? Before we started the magnet. Before the magnet. Mm -hmm. I have like six, seven. Then. Six, seven. Yes. So, I'm going to finish the treatment now with the magnet. So, I'm using two magnet heel. Um, to really penetrate the entire body, to really work deep on the tissue uh, to decrease the inflammation. And I will try to take a picture after that. If the inflammation is not too bad, we should see um, the redness in the picture decrease shrinking and the temperature decreased. Uh, if the patient has really severe inflammation, um, it's um, it's need more time with the magnet, so that's when I usually recommend to patient to take it home and just wear it because they have severe inflammation. But if it's minor inflammation, a few minutes of doing this should be enough. But the cool part is actually you can see the pushing. This is pushing here. I'm not really doing anything. I tried to push it toward here. But it's pushing. See? See? That's magnet pushing it. I, I'm, I'm trying to push it this way. And when I push this one here, this one is went. Look here. Look. It's a really good experiment. See? You see? I'm moving one side and the other side is just follow it. So that's really cool to show <coughs> how strong and deep the magnets. <clears throat> and for healthcare provider, if you're gonna use this, you gotta be very careful because if those two sides touch each other, you might not be able to get it, um, remove them apart. I had this, I had a couple of sets that uh, by accident, the magnet was sticking together, but it's, I, I was not able to take them apart. But you can see it's really cool. How that feel? Good. Okay, so um, 
I'm almost done and I want you in that position wiggle your ankle and tell me how much pain you, you said it was six and seven just wiggle it and tell me how that feels zero to ten it was six before four and three three where do you feel it which is the spot is it here yes there right here yes okay so I'm gonna focus on this spot so it went down from six to three. This is area, yeah? Yeah. Is that too much what I'm doing? It's no. okay. How does feel when I do I use the two magnets? Can you <coughs> describe what do you feel? Uh, hmm? I feel only like you just the rubbing? Yes, the rubbing. Do you feel internal pulsing inside, or throbbing? Inside, yeah. Mm -hmm. inside. So okay. Do you feel warmness there? Yes. Okay, so we're increasing the blood flow there. This is the area you see? Yes. Okay. So I'm using two magnet heels. Okay. Okay, let's try it again and tell me how much from 0 to 10. Hmm? 2. So it went down, down to 2. Yes. And you feel it in the same spot or up here? Right here. Okay, yes. alright. And down to 2. And I have actually to really control where the magnet moving because it's actually going very random. I'm going against the force um, because it's tra it's pushing different directions. So one down to two. Okay, we'll see if we can get it to zero today. If not. Um, you probably need to wear it overnight, <clears throat> but at least we get from six to two, two or three. That's a really good number in just a few minutes working on the inflammation with the magna heel. Okay, let's try it again. Like this, I don't feel it. I don't know when I'm walking. <laughs> we're gonna do we're gonna do the walking after the video. Okay, because you you don't wanna be in the video. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna I'm taking the temperature now. Mm -hmm. You still have some inflammation, but the area that was before, uh, I'm gonna show the pictures. You still have some inflammation, but this is a recent picture. Okay, so it's around like 80 degrees here. So we're gonna go back to the other image and we'll show you the temperature. It was 84. 84, this area. That's what she complained of. 84. This is 83, 84. No, not this one. Oh, sorry. 80 degrees. 84. Can you see the difference? So 84 before and 80 now. So 4 degrees down on that on that area. She still has inflammation, so she needs to use more magnet, but uh, I just wanted to show the the effect and how to use the magna heal on patient thank you feel free to subscribe to my channel to get helpful tips on how to relieve pain and if you are a healthcare provider and interested to be aster certified uh, you can follow the link below uh, you will get information on how to register for aster online class uh, there is over uh, 40 study that support aster treatment model 
and also there is uh, over uh, 400 study that utilized by ASTER treatment and feel free to check over more over 220 videos that most of them actually real treatment videos uh, we'll see you soon